The challenge presented by China is one of the main focuses of the Biden White House. And soon the president will meet with the leader of one of America's strongest allies, Japan, in a bid to deepen the military partnership in East Asia. Japan and the Philippines have pledged to forge closer security ties in the face of heightened tensions with China. This is Chinese naval warship. You are approaching China's territorial waters. Please state your intention. In a significant move aimed at addressing China's growing assertiveness in the disputed South China Sea, the United States, Australia, Japan, and the Philippines have announced plans to conduct joint naval and air drills on April 7, 2024. This coordinated effort, named the Maritime Cooperative Activity, will be held within the Philippine Exclusive Economic Zone, EEZ, and is strategically timed ahead of an upcoming trilateral summit involving U.S. President Joe Biden and the leaders of the Philippines and Japan. The defense chiefs of these four nations emphasize that the joint exercise aims to showcase their collective commitment to increase regional and international cooperation in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific. According to statements from the Japanese Embassy in Manila, the drills will involve the participation of naval and air force units from all participating countries, focusing on enhancing interoperability in doctrines, tactics, techniques, and procedures with a specific emphasis on anti-submarine warfare training. The decision to hold these joint drills and convene the upcoming summit follows ongoing tensions in the South China Sea, notably characterized by confrontations between Chinese and Philippine vessels near disputed reefs. China has accused the Philippines of escalating tensions in the region, where long-standing maritime territorial disputes persist. In response, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin reaffirmed America's unwavering commitment to defending the Philippines against armed attacks in the South China Sea, highlighting the shared commitment to uphold international law and ensure freedom of navigation. It's just part of our efforts to modernize our alliance. And these efforts are especially important as the People's Republic of China continues to advance its illegitimate claims in the West Philippine Sea. Meanwhile, ongoing talks between the Philippines and Japan for a defense pact allowing troop deployment on each other's territory reflect Manila's efforts to strengthen partnerships because of regional challenges. We look forward to expanding cooperation with you, especially in key areas such as economic development, development cooperation, and security cooperation. While we continue to enhance our bilateral relations, I am pleased that the trilateral engagements at various fronts among the Philippines, Japan, and the United States have com commenced the, the start of this year. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has emphasized the need for Japan to play a larger role in providing options and support to Southeast Asian countries, aligning with broader efforts to foster trilateral cooperation in various sectors, including technology and energy development with the United States and the Philippines. <laughs> Well, based on the national security strategy that Japan has formulated, we are now planning to form the joint headquarters. However, the control per se will remain individually to each of the states concerned, namely Japan and the United States. And under that new system, I'll make sure that Japan and the United States will make that coordination accordingly. The upcoming joint naval and air operations in the disputed South China Sea signal a deepening of ties among the participating nations. This exercise highlights their collective commitment to regional stability and the rule of law in the Indo-Pacific. China's continued assertion of claims over contested waters, including those also claimed by the Philippines, Japan, and self-ruled Taiwan, has prompted the United States to strengthen alliances in the region, particularly with treaty allies Japan 
Japan and the Philippines. The U.S. military has released video of yet another Chinese fighter jet harassing and flying dangerously close to a U.S. military plane over the South China Sea. The Chinese jet coming within 10 feet of the American B-52. Tensions are rising in one of the most hotly contested regions on the planet, the South China Sea. From militarized artificial islands to fighter jets and warplanes, China's heavy presence in the disputed region is putting the U.S. and its allies on notice.